So one person died and another was hurt after a shooting in Jefferson Square Park last night. The park has been where we've been seeing peaceful protests and gatherings for about a month now. But this morning, the park is empty as LMPD tries to learn more about the shooting. So Rose is out there this morning. Rose, what are you seeing right now out there? Hey Rob, yeah, for weeks people have been protesting day and night peacefully here in Jefferson Square Park and this morning it is empty except for LMPD officers and Metro Parks who are taking away the tents that have people been staying in for months or month, a month rather. It's because this morning LMPD announced that people will no longer be able to stay overnight here at the park and tents won't be allowed both day and night here. <laughs> A witness, Maxwell Mitchell, took this video of a man firing shots last night around 9. Witnesses told us they heard about 14 shots. This space has been a safe haven for protesters to come together and remember Breonna Taylor. Mitchell told us that won't change. He and his fellow protesters will continue to fight for justice even after the incident. We'll never forget what happened here today, but um, I, for, for me, uh, you know, it's uh, I'm still going to continue staying focused on what we started to do, going after those demands and staying here until the justice is served. Mayor Greg Fisher tweeted last night, quote, I am deeply saddened by the violence that erupted in Jefferson Square Park tonight, where those who have been voicing their concerns have been gathered. It is a tragedy that this area of peaceful protest is now a crime scene. My thanks to the first responders who assisted at this scene. LMPD says it continues to support people who want to peacefully express their concerns via their First Amendment, right? This morning, tents are being taken down. You can take a quick look here and see they will be available for people to come get their belongings at 600 Meriwether Avenue later today, but no more tents here in Jefferson Square Park. Rob? So we know that one person died and another was shot and hurt. Do we know how that second person is doing this morning? Yes, that first person unfortunately passed away right here at Jefferson Square Park and his second was found at the Hall of Justice, but that person has been taken to University Hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. All right, thanks, Rose. We'll check back in with you in about a half hour.